Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who have been following me for a while, you know I did a Noom interview for you a couple of months back where I was just sharing a friend's perspective and her experience using the Noom app. And since a lot of you were asking me more questions after that that I couldn't answer, I thought I'm just going to try Noom for myself so that I can share with you my results, what I thought, and kind of how it works from an internal perspective, somebody who's actually done the Noom free 14 day trial. So that is what I did. And today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you what to expect when you start using Noom for the free 14 day trial. I'm going to share with you how the app works, what you actually do on Noom, and my results from doing it for just the first 14 days. And if you're interested in trying Noom for yourself free for 14 days by the end of this video, just click on the link in the description below for your free 14 day trial of Noom so you can try it for yourself. So let's go ahead and get started. All, let's talk about what Noom is not. I had a lot of preconceived notions even after talking with my friend who has done Noom and you can see that video interview right here, but I still had some preconceived notions. Noom is not a diet. It's not a weight loss program per se. And I was like so blown away by that because I realized I definitely have battled a diet mentality. Little things will come up in my mind even after learning not to call what I'm doing a diet. I still recognize that I go back to certain foods that I deem as bad and not eat those. Noom teaches us that eating any kind of food is permissible. And I kind of knew that in my head, but I really didn't allow myself to act on that. I really felt like I had to restrict myself completely. And there were certain foods that I really was not supposed to eat. So in my mind, when I ate them, I kind of felt bad about myself. With Noom, they don't teach you what you shouldn't eat or what you should eat. They just say, hey, everything's on the table and let's talk about some mentality stuff. So what is Noom? Noom is actually a coaching app that is put together for you to discover why we do certain things versus how not to do or what to do. Even though there are tools available for you to utilize that are going to help you to create healthy habits as far as your water and your calorie intake, which I'll talk about those in just a few minutes, their primary focus is going to be more on our mind, which I really loved. And that's why I thought I'm going to give this a try because I am always trying to better myself and grow internally and change my thinking to be better. I'm really still coming out of a lot of stinking thinking. And you know, when we think something for so long, it just kind of gets stuck in our minds and we're like, this is how it is. But I know in order to change the this is how it is, this is how it's always been, and this is how it's always gonna be mindset, I need new information. So I'm always open to new information that's gonna help me to view things in a different way, more positive way, or just give me a different perspective. So that is what Noom has been really helpful for me for. Basically, that's what Noom is. It's just going to address the psychological things when it comes to dieting and exercise that we battle that keep us in a cycle of doing the same old unhealthy things over and over again and not being able to figure out why we keep going back to the same mud puddle. Even though I've come a long way already in my mindset with food, I definitely still have a long way to go and I'm recognizing that as I've been using Noom. So basically what you do if you want to try Noom for 14 days for free for yourself, click that link below. You're just going to download the app and then you're going to go through a myriad of questions. So they're going to ask you so many questions about yourself. It's very personal and individual and I love that. It's just going to ask you some habits that you've had in the past, what are your goals, like what's your activity level, things like that. And it's going to take all the information that you give it and put together a program that is just for you. I'm not talking about what to eat and what times to eat and how to exercise. I'm talking about a program that's going to address the psychological things that we do that keep us in old routines that we can't seem to break free from. Okay. So that's what I mean by put together a program for you. But once you download the app and they give you your personalized program, there's going to be um, these really neat articles. I'm going to show you guys the app here on my phone. It's my cute husband. Okay, so I'm just logging into my Noom app right now and you can see right here at the top where it gives you the, today's date. It's going to give you the calorie count and then it's going to start going straight into your course. So then it's going to go through and give you your little articles uh, right here under this today's course heading and you just click in here into your article and it'll go through and give you some information that's really helpful for you for where you're at in your journey. If you really love the article and you think, hey, I could benefit from this and I would like to go back and read it again. You just click this little bookmark up here at the top and it adds it to your library. You can go back and look at those little articles right here under my library. So you can see the ones that I have kept. Uh, obviously I've kept a lot. 
because I just love to be able to go back and remind myself of certain things. And so, okay, this is an important part I want to show you. This was something that kind of confused me in the beginning, and it is a little bit of a learning curve to get used to. Every day, you're supposed to weigh yourself no matter what. Well, I didn't do it right to begin with, so what I'm getting ready to show you isn't 100% accurate, but then once I started doing it every day, okay, we're good. So you're gonna weigh in every day right here. You can see my like highs and my lows all over the place. Like that's my weight loss on a regular basis. Like seriously, you guys, I go up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down all the time. And that's normal, especially if you're weighing yourself every day. But I actually did not start at 167 pounds. I gained quite a bit of weight in January and I was actually at 170 pounds when I started. So that wasn't any fun. And then you can see right here, the goal for me is 140 pounds. The next thing you can see is logging your meals. So logging your meals is definitely the number one learning curve in this whole app. <laughs> if you've ever used any other app to track your food, you're going to have to just bear with us until you get it figured out okay it's really not that difficult it just takes some getting used to so for breakfast this morning i ate a yogurt peanut butter parfait it was delicious and i put in all my ingredients right here so i did chai seeds oh i actually put in chai seeds twice sweet i'm even under where i need to be oh i probably should go eat a banana i had chai seeds coconut flakes pb2 powder and some greek yogurt and this is what it looked like when it was done it was so yummy let's just stop there for a second because every meal for me needs to be between three and four hundred calories a little bit over is good a little bit under is okay but i have to make sure that i'm eating enough and so this is what's been beneficial for me because in my mind when i'm dieting or looking at what i'm supposed to be eating or what i'm not supposed to be eating i tend to not eat enough and then when i get sick of that i'll overeat and then i gain weight really quickly i mean i will gain weight super fast i don't know why i can just look at a bag of chips and i feel like i gain a pound <laughs> it's just really unfair but i do so if you guys have been following me for a long time and they were like geez Catherine like you've lost 15 pounds you gained this I'm like yes it happens and it happens frequently and I'm not proud of it but I'm being honest with you guys that this is what's happening to me I'm not quitting I'm here for the long haul and I'm gonna just keep sharing with you guys what I'm doing and I know that this is a process and it's a process that's gonna take time it is a marathon and I need to run with endurance my race and not sprint to the end and then get to the end having learned nothing in the process and then just gain everything back I just didn't want to do that so I am taking my time and giving myself grace which I've never done before and so this is a whole new process and journey for me but let's get back to the app you can see here for breakfast an analysis and when you click on analysis it's going to give you a color coding system for your food the green foods are foods that you can eat all day long like eat those foods the most then it tells you to eat yellow foods in moderate portions show you like how you can find those in just a second and then the red foods just kind of tells you to limit your portions a lot of my foods actually fall into the red category which is kind of sad okay so let me show you guys what they kind of teach you in this portion size guide it kind of teaches you to learn how to just eyeball your portions which is really helpful it gives you a really neat way to see how much of something you should be eating based on just looking at your hand which i think is really great here and then if you scroll down it's going to give you a list of what they consider green foods yellow foods and red foods it doesn't tell you like this is the law to stick to but you can see here that it'll tell you a basic general idea of a day's eating plan you can see some sample days for me would be breakfast is 230 calories i kind of hit that goal a snack is 230 calories so that we're eating every two to three hours uh, lunch would be about 360 calories another snack at 210 and then dinner is 300 calories the other really neat thing you can do is log your water it syncs to your fitbit too as long as you sync it every day if you don't sync your fitbit to your Fitbit app on your phone, it's not gonna count correctly. Okay, so that is really a very fast breakdown of what the app looks like. Now, after the free 14 day trial, you're going to get a coach. And this coach is going to be considered an accountability coach. And I am an actual accountability coach, so I didn't really think that the accountability coaching that I've gotten so far, I've been doing this now longer than 14 days. So far, I'm not so sure how I feel about their accountability coach. I 
really love more personal one-on-one -on -one, at least talk the coaching that they have offered so far has just been a little bit more robotic and I feel like more geared towards everyone as an accountability coach personally I like to work with my clients one-on-one -on -one individually everybody has a different specific goal and then also everyone has different barriers that are keeping them from hitting their goals not everyone's mindset is going to be the exact same for instance if you struggle with overeating and you can't figure out why it's not necessarily a one-size-fits-all answer maybe you picked up a mindset a long time ago in your lifetime and you didn't realize it i just feel like there could be a whole lot more humanity in their coaching if that makes any sense at all it's it's a little robotic okay <laughs> that's what i mean but if you guys find that you try new for 14 days and you love the program you love how it's set up and it's really helping you to overcome some barriers in your thinking and get you over the hump in your weight loss and you're finding that the coaching is not helpful for you just email me my email is in the about section on my page before I share with you guys my results and just ask you if you're liking this video so far and you're finding it helpful in any way please just give it a quick thumbs up it really helps out my video and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel I'd love to invite you to be part of my subscriber community just click that subscribe button down below and you're in it's as simple as that uh, you get to be part of my journey to finish losing this weight but then also just be part of a really great community of people that are doing the same thing and just supporting each other at the same time and if you're wondering what you should be eating on Noom. I'm going to be doing several videos coming up for you guys over the next couple of months that is just going through what I eat in a day using the Noom principles and some meals that I've prepped for you guys. And I'm just going to give you a quick like disclaimer. They're super simple. I am super simple and I don't have a lot of time. So everything has to stay simple. So let's go ahead and wrap this up by talking about my results so far, just doing it for 14 days. So when I first started Noom, I was 170 pounds, like I shared with you guys before and at the 14 day mark I was 163 pounds so I lost eight pounds in 14 days so that was pretty fast weight loss you guys and really I didn't change a whole lot of anything that I was doing before I was just a lot more conscious of sticking to what I know works for my body and that's bulk eating healthy food because I do love to eat this girl loves some food so I have to make sure that what I'm eating is filling me up so that I'm not running back to the kitchen later on or just mindlessly snacking um, so I can eat a huge plate of food and keep it under 300 calories I've learned to do that and that's why I think you guys should stick around and keep watching my videos too so you can see what I eat that fills me up and when I'm sticking to it for consistent time I lose weight every single time it's just the times when I jump back off and I'm like not tracking I'm not I'm not eating bulk healthy food I'm eating bulk unhealthy food that I gain weight really quickly and that's probably why I gain weight quickly because I just eat I eat a lot of food but on Noom I'm sticking to about 1250 to 1350 calories and it just is working for me so far so you guys give it a try and tell me what you think in the comment section below and if you have ever done noom before and you have some suggestions for me i am so down to hear those so leave those in the comment section below as well so i so thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and hopefully this video helped you out so have a great week and just remember that you're enough and you got what it takes you can do this until next week bye